I right, hold, interact, press cancel, look around. Okay, so I'm using controller, so I'll do that. Alright, one sec, let me quickly go. <coughs> Keyboard. Right, look around. Let's do that now. Oh, we found a toothbrush. So, where are you headed? So, where are you heading? Um. Uh, shrug. Hmm. Not the talkative type, eh? That's okay. Most people I pick up are just waiting for their turn to talk. Hey, it's got a winder, it's Want not electric. Oh, I love a razor. They're from my farm. Sure, thanks. I do like raisins, quite nice. Oh god, they're not poisonous raisins, are they? Guess those things don't agree with you yet. Strange. There's a raisin the guy. Seedless. Good raisins. We still farm more of those in California than anywhere on earth. Chew tobacco. You want to know the clearest evidence that reality isn't real? Lie, make one. Raisins and grapes, man. They're the same thing, but they taste disgusting when eaten together. True fact. Obvious bug in the program there, right? Mm -hmm. Memory is a slippery thing. Think about when somebody asks you about this ride later. Assuming you even know where you're going and get someplace where somebody can ask you. Hey, how'd you get here anyway? They'll ask you. Oh, I hitched. And your brain will flash back for a second when you say this. And it'll show you a frozen snapshot of yourself. Sitting in this car, talking to me, like we are right now. But which one will that. it actually show you? Will it be this one? Or this one? Or this one? We think we remember how people really were, how our lives together really were. But when we think back to them, even the people we cared about the most, all we're doing is snatching moments out of the air. You know, Just grabbing it out another up. raisin out of the box. What is it you no, I told people I My wife. Ah, uh, okay. She's dead now. But you probably guessed that. Sorry for your loss. Um how would I have guessed? Sorry for your loss. Uh, thanks. But you don't look like you're doing so well yourself. Takes one to know one, right? Mm-hmm. I can always spot someone who's grieving along this highway. They usually stand on the road with a dazed look on their face and their thumb up in the air. You got self harm, Max. Young guy like you. Just look like that. I wouldn't have a clue. My wife. If I'm totally honest with you, I don't really remember what she looked like. Remember everything about her. Just not her face. Some people have faces that are easy to remember. Mm hmm. Doesn't seem fair. Nope. No, you. With time, sure. though, you do think. It's not as easy things. as people think. I'll give you an example. You think you're present in the moment? You've been talking to me for a few minutes now. Mm hmm. What color are my eyes? Blue. Yep, not bad. But that's just your photographer's eye. Mm-hmm. 
Just figured from your gear. A lot of photographers carry that backpack. Tell you what, Ansel Adams. I knew his eyes were blue. Do me a favor and close the window, would you? Oh, sorry. I'll close it. That's better. Now, where were we? Yeah, fair number. But after a while, you start seeing the same few archetypes over and over. You got the numbnuts Kerouac fans. You got your autodidact blowhards. They'll talk your ears off. You got a lot of people from Cincinnati for some reason. You got your deadheads trying to get to some concert someplace. And then there's the water bottle person, always worrying that they're going to run out of water before they get where they're going. Still, <laughs> you're the first hitcher I ever picked up who doesn't have a destination. Copernicus. Copernicus, very funny. Well, seems like the right name for a guy who's traveling the world without knowing where he's going. Columbus, that's why. You I just sit back, Copernicus, and invent a language where false statements are impossible. Let it slide. You know, when I was a kid, my brother and I used to drive our. Help. Why does it say help? Are our parents crazy on long drives like this? What you got there? Just a matchbook, huh? I figured it must have been something important. Because the window is still closed. Oh. So, where were we? Why is Our that folks wouldn't help? let us listen to the radio in the car. So we used to make up these songs about food on long drives to pass the time. Mm -hmm. We had this one with about 30 verses, each about a different kind of grain. There was this one time when we passed a billboard for this new kind. Love the extreme. Don't realize this. That's something other than oneself is real. Very good. That's very true. Very true. Kind of Good bread. Balach bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of balach bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of balach bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of balach bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of balach bread. Oh, oh yeah. That drove mom and dad crazy. Come on, join in. In hell they have a hell a lot of bala oh, well, no. bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of bala bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of bala bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of bala bread. Yeah, it's very catchy. Very creepy, actually. Actually, I'm beginning to understand my parents' perspective. Getting older is funny. Else we got round here. It's like reading a book where less and less happens, but the writing gets better and better. That's pretty profound. Sounds like a mixed blessing. You got that right, kid. Yep. <laughs> Let me tell you, getting old is no picnic. What's it been married so long? Did she work on the farm with you? Um, did she work on the yeah. farm? Yeah. We used to have a strict division of labor back when we worked together. She would raise the grape from the time it appeared on the vine, and I'd step in as soon as it was time to start drying them. Our customers used to have fun with that. I'm the dry one, they'd say. Grapes attract a certain kind of person, a person who likes to tell jokes. Wine enthusiasts, tourists. Yeah, I do think grapes people and who like to talk. Razors were the same. Okay. There's a photo in that glove box there of us. 
standing in front of our trailer. It was in a magazine. One of those stories about vanishing farmers that always pulls heartstrings with the rest of the country. I'll have a take a look. Well, I never opened the glove box myself. It's kind of a superstition of mine. Okay. But help yourself. Oh, thank you. I'll open it. Hey, where'd you get that? That's not her. And that guy there, he looks like you. I don't know. I was gonna ask you the same question, Copernicus. Did he... Creepy. Who gave this to you? Well, I guess it belongs to you. You'd better hold on to it. Oh, thank you. What woman? Well, oh, her. Well, hard to say. I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. What's this? Oh, it's about the farm. The farm. Okay, 1954. They just rotate it. Okay. What's that black thing in the glove box, anyway? Binoculars. See anything interesting there? A windmill, eh? No idea. Hmm. Probably one of these story gates you could talk and have an interaction with the uh, the person in the story game. I know it's gonna happen one day. Oh hang on, is this his farm? I do like this game, it's quite quite uh, cool so far. I love a good story game though. Not been playing in quite a long time. Been playing horrors mostly. I'll get back into these kind of games. They are good games. Oh, where are we going? Yeah, we're going towards the farm. Why did the raisin take the prune to the dance? Why did the raisin take the prune? He couldn't get a date. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. Hey, that reminds me. It's almost 4.30. You'll like this. It's my favorite. Okay. I once knew the hostess, Darlene. She used to change the tires on my truck on Highway 51. Welcome to another interstate riddle hour. Here's our first riddle. Keep your eyes peeled, all you blacktop carpetbaggers. I fly, yet I have no wings. I cry, yet I have no eyes. Darkness follows me. Lower light I never see. That is that. I was thinking like the. Hang on a minute. 
quite a second furnace I never see. I was thinking boom for some reason. That as I never see. What else we've got? The duck call. And the old thing. Um, i trying to think. Buff box. A book. Uh, we've got binoculars. I can fly. Cloud, I guess, then. Very good. Here's our next one. A gatekeeper forever bound. He opens and shuts with a similar sound. Gatekeeper shuts with a similar sound. Well, that's a book, then, isn't it? That's like a similar sound. Um, what else we got? Oh, it's the bag. So it would be zip. Very good. I don't know why I listen to this every day. Damn questions are rigged. I never get them. Says the guy who never knew what pressure to keep his tires at. Hey! Having fun? Want to keep going? Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Right. Here's another one. Take one out and scratch my head. Take one I out. I am now black, but once was red. What am I? Um, I was once, I was once, rebel now. Trying to think of this one. Oh, that's off over here. I was once black, but now red. I was once red, but now black. Um. Can't see anything. Once black, red, but now I'm black. Hmm, that one's got me. That one. Hang on, it's this. Just looking round, see if I can see anything on this one. I can't see anything. This one's got me. I'm not close, you can't pick up anymore. I was once black, but now I'm got in here. I can't think of this one. This one's got me stumped. I was once red, but now black. Oh, signal lights! Did any of these? Uh, buy it? No, it's not signal lights. Um, trying to think of it. Um, speed on it is red. No, I don't know this one. Need some help? Check your backpacks, friends. The answer could be hiding inside. All oh, right, okay. Match then. Well done. Okay, oh yeah, well, here's it, a tough when one. you light it, it goes black. Yeah. I have four wings but cannot fly. I never laugh and never cry. Cloud. On the same spot I'm always found, toiling away with little sound. What am I? 
Oh, I thought it was the same riddle as last time. Oh, where's that cracker thing? A little sound. Yeah, again, I don't know what this one is. Yeah, we'll have to ask for a, a clue in a minute. Hang on a minute. Make a little sound. Nothing in my backpack, was there? No. There's nothing on the uh, backpack. I make a little sound. I need to think of this one. Well, yeah, the match one got me. You see how it's red, then it turns black. But yeah, I get that one, but... I don't see anything else. Oh. Need some help? Round and round we go, people. Round and round we go. Hmm. Was well, a steering wheel that goes round and round? But that isn't what it should be. Um. I can't see anything that is. Probably obvious. Another need clue. Some help? You might need to get your binoculars out to find this object. It's not so close. Ah, right, okay. It's outside the car. Alright, here's our last riddle. He lies without touching the ground. Oh, come on, darling. He lies out, touch the ground. Damn it, darling. I should have tipped her better when she changed the tires. She's been out to get me ever since. Look, she isn't being straight with you, kid. Check the photo, Copernicus. The photo in your bag. Then you'll see. Hey? The face is gone. She's in trouble, Copernicus. You must help her. What's going on? Uh, things like that happen all the time on this highway. It's nothing to lose your scrunchie over. Kid, I am sorry about your girlfriend, but I had nothing to do with it. It's just the opposite. I was sent to protect you. Okay. Doesn't sound uh, convincing. Protect me from whom? From yourself. You picked this car every bit as much as I chose to stop for you. What do you mean? You picked this car, picked me, not to feel anything. Why would I do that? Let's not kid ourselves. You don't seem like a guy who wants to remember. Um, to remember what? I don't trust a single word coming out of your mouth. Um, Kid, just let it go. There's nothing for you down that road. Nothing but hurt. Why should I believe you? Your lies. Look, I admit I lied, but only about one thing. 
You're not really a farmer, your wife isn't really dead. We've met before. You put that photo of me in the glove box. Um, we've met before. Yeah, we've met. Twice, in fact. All right, let's start from the beginning then. Sure. You showed up at my trailer park taking photos. At first, I was a bit suspicious, since there were plans to kick us out and develop the trailer park into some kind of shopping center. But then it became clear that you'd been sent here by a magazine to do one of those stories about vanishing farmers that always pulls heartstrings with the rest of the country. Was she there with me? Why were you... Why weren't you straight with me from the start? Um, that, that one. Kid, I told you, you don't want to go down that road. What else are you not being honest about? Why should I be afraid of the truth? Um, that well, one. there's one more lie I told you. We're not number one anymore in raisin production. We were surpassed last year by turkey. Guess all comfy. Don't change the subject. Tell me the truth. I want to know. There we go. I wasn't afraid of the truth either back then. My wife. When she got the x-rays. When she knew. She decided to spare my feelings. Didn't tell me anything. Hid the x-rays in one place I'd never suspect, because it was so obvious. They're in the glove box. Ah, so that's why he was afraid Stayed of the glove box. Stayed closed until today, until you came along. Stop changing the subject and get to the point. You're making a mistake, blocking your feelings away. And that's what you liked about me when we met. When you came to take those photos, you said you admired my fortitude. I had to look up at least one of those words in the dictionary. Turns out that you just meant my not feeling every little thing that's gone wrong with me. Well, that's life as a raisin farmer. We're not known for live casting our power ballads. Each raisin is a little setback that you've learned to live with. You don't dwell on it or try too hard to remember. Is that your, all you're protecting me from? Disappointment. I wish it was that simple, kid. What do you mean? What else, then? Um. What else, then? Hey, Chief. Why don't you have a look here? Okay. He appeared on this highway about the same time you did. I guess he's part of what you're running from. What the hell is that in the back seat? Well, there's a person in the back seat. Not sure. You can't see him directly. He only shows up in mirrors, windows, pictures. Well, we haven't talked yet about the second time we met. That's the thing. It's a little hard to explain. Better if I just take you there. Okay. Take me where? It's just a quick detour. We'll be there in a minute. Sounds uh, so you've got a quick detour. Jakes and Smoothies. They must be playing ball, uh, ball guys. It's getting dark, you know.
Right. So far, they could, it's a good game so far. Got a some man good quotes travels in it. along a road until he reaches a gate at the top of a hill. The road has been long and straight so far, and the going has been easy. But now the man can't go any further, so he takes a seat by the road to rest. The man waits, and after a length of time that seems neither short nor long, the gate opens, and a guard appears. Ask guard for the entry. The man asks the guard for entry, but the guard says he cannot let him enter at the moment. The man thinks for a second and asks if he will be allowed through later. It is possible, says the guard, but not now. Look through the gate. The gate now stands slightly open, and the man tries to look through it longingly. His journey has been easy so far, and he misses the feeling of the open road. The guard notices and laughs. Even if you could gain entry, there are many gatekeepers after me. Some are much stronger than me, and I'm afraid to look upon them. So there the man waits for days, months, years, waiting to enter. One day, when he's given up hope of entering, a single question occurs to him, one he has not thought of before. Why, he wonders aloud, are there no other travelers along this road? All these years, no one but myself has waited in front of this gate. The answer to this question comes from a voice near his shoulder. It is you who made this gate, says a bird perched nearby. So it exists for no one but you. But why, yeah, but asks the traveler, why would I choose to stop here? Beat the bird. The bird answers after hungrily eating a crust of bread from the man's hand. After this point, the road becomes less straight. It splinters like the tree in which I live, splitting into dozens, hundreds of branches. The path becomes impossibly narrow and frail, and crowded with the view of other paths one could have taken. There's only one point ahead on the road where all paths converge, where all points join where the light shines through skin and through lies. But it's never been reached by one of your kind, a traveler who walks on feet. Shoo, cries the guard, chasing the bird away. Don't listen to his nonsense. Having said this, he takes a seat next to the traveler but not before closing the gate, forever. So when you think about it, who knows how long we've been sitting here, just like this, on this road. Take it from me. It's better to face things with, what's it called again? Fortitude. Hmm. Better not to feel too much. <clears throat> Want a raisin? You sure? You just need to get used to them. Life is like a box of raisins. <laughs> That's some Forrest Gump type wisdom for yeah, you right sorry. there. Here, I'll leave the box open for you. Help yourself. It is a bird. Look, hooded crows all along this road. I have to chase these for my farm every harvest. You don't 
want to do that, kid. These birds are unpredictable. There's no telling what they'll do once they start swarming. Get enough of these crows together and it's big trouble. <laughs> Well, there's a load of them. Let's try that again. You're making a mistake, kid. You don't know where they're taking you. Look, I'll help you. I'll help you figure out what happened when she came back from Europe. Great. We'll get to that in a sec. Let me ask you something first. Did she pack an umbrella with her on her trip to Europe? Yeah, well, I asked her. Traveler's about. checks? Or cash? If I am, it's for your own good. Want to hear a joke? Why did the raisin take the prune to the dance? Yep. Good one, right? You know, when I was a kid, my brother and I used to drive our parents crazy on long drives like this. Yep. <laughs> Good one, right? We're starting to see the same scenery over and over again. Have you noticed? Yep. Now you've done it. They've taken control of the car. I don't know, Copernicus. Why don't you ask them? Okay, but I suppose that's a bit weird. Uh. Where are we? Hey, that's looks familiar. We're at my farm, Copernicus. I had a funny feeling. The moment you looked through those binoculars. That's a weird mill. Well, they're pulling us around in circles. They're afraid of the scarecrows I put up here last summer. They, they want to take us, take you, I suppose, to that windmill in the middle. Okay. Ah, yes, binoculars, okay. And I see. You need to rotate the scarecrows. See if you can find something in this car that might do the trick. Take that one. See, it's hard. Oops. Trying to get the angle of the uh Oh 
There we go, that's better. Got that one a second. Trying to get the angle of that one right now. Now spin that one round. That's it, kid. Now I'm more of the same. This one down now. There we go, that one's down. Almost there. That's it. That's it, kid. There we go. I... I think it's for you. Oh, I thought it was back to normal now. They have a way of leaving gifts once you've fed them. Often something shiny or a piece of string. Rose, help me remember. I'm going away for two months. I'll be back before you know it. It's practically a cliche. Going to Europe to have new experiences, and yeah, it's corny. But maybe find myself. I guess I'm just worried that you'll find yourself but lose me along the way. I'll be back before you know it. Promise. Here's a security deposit. What a weird box. Did you win this at the circus? It's great, right? I'll send you something special from Europe to put inside, so you know I'm thinking of you. And then we have our road trip together when I get back. You won't miss me anyway. You have plenty to keep you busy. Like that job in California. The story about the... The Vanishing Grape Farmers. You're right. I'm worrying too much. I love Vanishing it. Vanishing Grape Farmers. In uh. some other world, it must, but not here. Okay, trade you a memory box for your Polaroid. Say cheese. Cheese. Well, now that you know how it started, it doesn't make the next step any easier, does it? Listen, I disapprove of just about every choice you've made on this trip. But I like you, kid, and I can see you've made up your mind. If you want to find your girlfriend, if you want to find out what happened, if you really want to go there, you've got to find that box. Okay. I don't know, kid. But find that box, and the key. Open the box before it's too late. Okay. Gotta find a box. Well, this is where I say goodbye.
Unless you want to help transport four bushels across. Nah. Just remember, there are many more gates ahead and many more guards. I'm pretty much the friendly drunken uncle of the bunch. Well, good luck to you, kid. Oh, one more thing. What did the grape say when he got run over by the car? No idea. Nothing. He just gave a little whine. <laughs> mm. Okay. Good luck with your search. Ah, so there's five rides. Okay, so we've done ride one. So the next one will be ride two, and so forth. So there's going to be five weeks then, isn't there, of this game. This will be the next, next ride. It's the second house on the right here. No way. Well, let's uh, just, just go to main menu. So will it start there? Yes, it will. So that'll be the next week's uh, ride. So let's just get off the game for a second. Well, yeah, that was good. Very good uh, start to the game. I'm very happy with that. So let me just... Um the screen on for a second and I'll get the next part of the stream going in a minute but yeah I like that I did like that uh, kind of story game I have missed uh, playing story games because yeah last last uh, sorry, let me yeah, get the words out last month was uh, spooked over so there was a lot of horror games so this month is just going to be a chill out story game uh, month Couple of horror games in between, but uh, not too many. Um, right, the next game, let me just find it. It's going to be called Wild Hearts. It's a new one on the channel yet again. Let me just find the phone. This one got uh, put on um, Xbox uh, Game Pass. So let's try it out. Twenty one point two K followers. This one uh, should be a good one. So let's uh, load that one up. Yes. Okay, 
move over to stream now. Looks like the game's nearly ready. Where's the... Let's wait for the game to load. So this one's called Wild Hearts. It is a new one on the channel. It came to Xbox Game Pass. I thought, why not try it out? Looks a 